Hi, my name is David. In this video, we're going to look at the forward answers task in the listing paper for the Tataklis C1 exam. So in this type of task, you'll have to answer the questions or complete the sentences with the missing information according to the recording. You will have to use no more than four words. Answers with more than four words will be considered to be wrong. And remember, contractions are regarded as two words. Read all the items in the task. This will give you an idea of the content. You can do this in the time you have before you hear the recording during the exam. Try to guess the answer. By doing this, you, okay, obviously you won't be able to guess the answer before you've heard the recording really, but trying to do it will make you think of what type of answer you're looking for. Are you looking for a verb? sentence, some adjectives, time or uh, colours or whatever it is. Read the instructions carefully, read all the items in the task, think about the type of information that's missing, verbs, nouns, names, try to guess the answer. Okay, here is a typical forward answer question. You'll hear a talk about a famous hotel. While listening, complete the sentences 1421 in a maximum of four words. First one, zero, has been done for you as an example. Write your answers on the answer sheet provided. You've got the question there. The first question is given to you as an example. The Delphi Hotel is now even more famous because, and there's an answer, it appeared on television. Different answers might be accepted as long as they answer the question correctly. The second question there, you've got James Radley bought the Adelphi Hotel because Liverpool was a growing city and he recognised that. But we're listening there. What did he recognise? Okay. Okay, so as I said before, a good way to prepare is to underline keywords. You'll hear a talk about famous hotel, we need to know that. We need it to know it's a maximum of four words. In some cases in the Tacklis exams, it might not be four, it might be three or five, okay? So make sure you've, you've, you've looked at that. And the other thing I thought is even more famous, even more famous, why, okay? And there you'll get the answer. James Rousey bought the Adelphi Hotel because Liverpool was a growing city and he recognized something. What did he recognize? It's their key words can help us get what, he, what the answer might be. And you might be thinking, okay, what might he have recognized? Now, you don't know the answer because you haven't heard it, but it, trying to predict it like that will help you focus later on finding the answer you need. Okay, write your answer the first time you listen. Check your answers the second time you listen, make any changes if necessary, and make sure all the answers are logical. We're not testing grammatical accuracy and spelling, so don't worry about that, but show you have understood the idea. One thing is a spelling mistake. Another thing is a completely different thing, and a completely different thing is if you're making up a word or using a word that doesn't exist. Okay, that will not be correct, obviously. Okay. Let's try one of the tests. One of the questions. So you will hear a talk. This is what we looked at before about the famous hotel. Okay. Um, so let's have a listen and see if you can, first of all, listen for the example answer and try to do the first one. It all started from very modest beginnings back in 1830, but now the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool is known all over the world and indeed in recent years has become even more famous as the star of the Fly on the Wall documentary, The Hotel. In around 1826, two houses from a row of houses of the city's Copper's Hill were bought by brothers William and Joseph Hewitt, who converted them into the Adelphi Hotel. They were very near to the site of the soon-to-be-built Lime Street Central Railway Station, which seemed like the perfect location for a hotel at the time. With a few months, the brothers sold the hotel to a businessman who had worked with hotels in London, James Radley. Radley saw both the hotel's potential and the growing importance of Liverpool as a passenger port.
Okay. Well, we're going to listen to the recording again. What are the answers? Remember, several answers can be accepted. The important thing is you show you've understood the idea. Okay? It all started from very modest beginnings back in 1830, but now the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool is known all over the world and indeed in recent years has become even more famous as the star of the Fly on the Wall documentary, The Hotel. In around 1826, two houses from a row of houses of the city's Coppers Hill were bought by brothers William and Joseph Hewitt, who converted them into the Adelphi Hotel. They were very near to the site of the soon-to-be-built Lime Street Central Railway Station, which seemed like the perfect location for a hotel at the time. With a few months, the brothers sold the hotel to a businessman who had worked with hotels in London, James Radley. Radley saw both the hotel's potential and the growing importance of Liverpool as a passenger port. OK, so we hear that the sentence, it had potential or there was potential. We hear that Radley saw both the hotel's potential and the growing importance of Liverpool as a passenger port. So the answer there is it had potential. You might say there was potential. This is what Radley recognised and that city was a grow that Liverpool was a growing city. Okay, so what are the things we have to remember when doing this part of the listening test? It's important to read the questions before you listen to the recording. Not only reading the questions, but trying to guess the answer or think of the type of information you need to answer it. That will help you. You're going to listen to it twice. Questions are always in order in this type of task. So you're going to go through the listening as the questions go. Don't let a question you miss ruin your performance of the whole task. Don't worry, one answer is not so important. Just make sure you move on to the next one. Don't let it affect the next question. And at the end of the whole test, transfer your answers to the answer sheet. You have five minutes at the end to do this. Well, that's all about the four-word answer task. I hope you found it useful, and thank you very much. <laughs>